Welcome to the Spiritual Hour with Mad Mix. It's been quite a while, probably like a month or so. And doesn't mean I wasn't drinking cocktails, but I haven't made a video. So tonight I want to make a variation of the Manhattan. And this one's called uh, the Black Manhattan. Uh, this originated about 15, 16 years ago, 2005. Uh, a bartender named Todd Smith in uh, San Francisco at the bar called Bourbon and Branch. And looks like all he did was he took the classic Manhattan recipe and flipped out the sweet vermouth and added a verna, which is a, uh, a bitter or an amaro from Sicily. So let's try and see what it looks like. Let's build this out. Uh, and Averna is a, uh, it's been around for probably 150, 160 years. Um, it's, it's a liqueur, but in a marrow because it's got bitterness. Um, it's got uh, herbs, some spices, and uh, let's try it out. Uh, so two ounces, we start with the whiskey, rye whiskey. Um, and the rye whiskey I'm using is a good old overholt. You could actually use a, a, a bottle in bond, uh, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna use the regular 80 proof. So here's two ounces of uh, good rye whiskey, and then one ounce of the Averna, which is the Amaro. And let's put that in there. Mmm, nice, like cola and Maybe a little bitter sweet, uh, at least on the nose. Let's do one ounce of this, like that, and then um, a dash of Angostura, which is also there in your classic Manhattan. And what Todd Smith did is he also added a dash of uh, orange bitters, and I'm gonna use uh, Regan's orange bitters. Uh, which has a little bit of uh, spice touch to it. So I don't know, I put two drops instead of one. Uh, and then a bunch of ice. And then we'll chill it down by stirring it. And we'll do it for, I don't know, maybe, maybe about 15, 20 times to get a nice chill. Uh, while I'm making it, I must tell you that I've had this before. Uh, and I really love it. Uh, but I made it with a different rye whiskey. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, so this is the first time I'm using the old overhaul for this recipe. And let's see if it makes any difference. So I think we're doing good. It's nice and chilled. Uh, I'm gonna get a coupe, chilled coupe from the fridge. is right there and let's strain this bad boy into it nice color you can see why it's called black manhattan it's a nice dark color and uh it's already i think a little bit on the sweeter side but the recipe calls for a uh, maraschino cherry so let's drop one in there and make it even sweeter. Um, and Manhattans are usually like an after dinner drink. I haven't had my dinner yet. I'm doing this pre-dinner. So here's the black Manhattan. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, this is amazing. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit different than the previous one I made, probably because of the whiskey. But the Amaro, uh, in place of the sweet vermouth, is making it a bit uh, thicker, I don't know, uh, richer, I guess. Um, uh, because this is, this is a, a little bit syrupy, if you will. You could tone it down if you want, but I personally love it. It's a fantastic uh, variation on the classic Manhattan. So to the Black Manhattan, cheers. Cheers again.